Ukiagvik, Alaska is the northernmost city in the United States and is at a particular threat to Arctic changes. Formerly referred to as Barrow, the small city in the northern tier of Alaska has had warming of up to 12 degrees Fahrenheit in the month of September. This temperature difference is likely tied closely to ice loss in a process known as Arctic amplification, and this puts Ukiagvik particularly at threat. All climate models account for a strong positive ice albedo feedback, whereby greenhouse gas loading extends the melt season, extends open ocean conditions, prompts greater absorption of solar radiation, delays the autumn ice freezing, and results in thinner spring ice that readily melts. In the climate system model version 3, ocean heat transport acts as the trigger to thinning ice and the rapid acceleration of the ice albedo feedback. Since 1979, the annual average Arctic sea ice extent has very likely decreased at a rate of 3.5 to 4.1 percent per decade. Apart from this, there are many other threats particularly impacting the city. With rising temperatures, the city runs a risk of having its permafrost melt, which has structural importance in supporting the stilts that the houses rest on. In addition, without sea ice close to the coast of the town, extreme storms pose a storm surge and coastal erosion threat. Even just outside of the city, boreal forest fires, which were very uncommon in the past, are becoming an ever-present threat. In addition to the impacts of climate change itself, the opening of a northwest passage could place the northern shore of Alaska with increased human activity that could lead to seals, walruses, and whales being killed or displaced. This would, in turn, affect indigenous populations and the food chain. In the future, unfortunately, this Arctic amplification will only exaggerate the warming and ice loss in the region, and all models strongly support this. Series A1b, the realistic scenario, shows Ukiagvik at least 10 degrees Celsius or 18 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than today by 2100. This warming could destabilize foundations and displace multitudes of native species that indigenous peoples rely on for sustenance. While there will be economic benefit, the city itself will face problems with erosion and storm surge. At the end of the day, it seems the reduction of carbon emissions is the only solution to future problems, for it underlies the Arctic amplification cycle.